All right, well, we should be live here. My name is Michael Bennett. I am with Michelin Metals. We are a woman-owned small business. We are an aerospace metal distributor and supplier. We are on the verge of becoming AS9120 and ISO 9001 certified. Those are two international quality standards, which means we have the proper pr protocols and procedures in place to um, sell aerospace metal. Um, and in addition to that, what we're going to try to do here is we are going to try to deliver a little more information on the ins and outs of stainless steel, aerospace metal, uh, nickel-based alloys, high temp alloys. We're going to talk about a little metallurgy. We're going to talk about all the fun stuff that goes into uh, what, what we do every day. And there aren't any real sources out there for real world education on this stuff that is, is a, in a palatable frame where it's not just numbers, it's not the thermal coefficient of elasticity, it's not uh, different, it's not different uh, temperature ratings on, on heat treatment, it's just some homegrown information that's real and that's capable of delivering the type of um, meaning that a normal person can, 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 can take out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over to uh, my friend Gary, who is a metallurgist, who can speak very knowledgeably, and he's going to help us talk about what we're going to do here, which is just bring a new form of education, a new form of information to the web regarding metallurgy, and just some basic info regarding some stainless steels, aerospace metals, and some nickel-based alloys. So go ahead, Gary, and uh, I really appreciate you you helping me with this. Thank you very much. Well, I, uh, well thanks a lot, Michael. Uh, <clears throat> Michael and I met on Google+, and uh, for some reason we kind of fell in together. I'm interested in metal. Uh, I'm, a, I'm originally a mechanical engineer, and uh, actually I started out as a service station mechanic. I was the mechanic on duty way back when, and uh, and then I went in the Navy and went into uh, the US, U.S. nuclear submarine program, and that's a pretty heavy education, especially for an enlisted man. That was quite a big deal, and then I spent about six to eight years in the Navy, and we got out and went back to school and got my mechanical engineering degree and uh, at uh, University of Hawaii, which uh, don't let anybody tell you that that's a party school, because I can tell you that the engineering school is not a party school. <laughs> and uh, after I uh, got up through with the, in uh, about '83, I went to work for General Electric as a field engineer. Now that's a kind of an that's literally uh, the engineer that goes out and works in the field. And uh, I really enjoyed that a lot, and uh, that's been my, I'm a hands-on engineer. And then I went back to school in 1990 and uh, was interested in materials and studied metal and metallurgy. And now it's called materials engineering, but uh, I kind of mostly looked at metallurgy, and that's kind of my background. And uh, I'll give it back to you, Mike. All right. Well, again, Gary, I, I really appreciate you helping us out with this stuff. So we really look forward to bringing you guys some real-world information about all the different types of metal. So from here, we're going to talk about stainless steel, 300 series, 400 series, and the pH grades. Uh, but before all that, we're going to talk about what exactly is stainless steel. So please tune in to the next one, and hopefully you guys will join us for all the rest of these videos. And uh, any questions, comments, concerns, Anything, you can always post through uh, the YouTube comments or you can post to our Google Plus streams. And again, it's Michael Bennett with Michelin Metals and Gary, and uh, we're both on Google Plus, so find us there and please come on back for the next one.